ですけミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミンガミ
a ming a ming a ming a ming. It's not really chest voice fully, and it's not really head voice. It's something in the middle. So it's going to be different for you because each one of you has a slightly different range. So it might not be this same set of notes for you. Ming a 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 ming. And I find that the i sound is a good one to kind of force the mix to happen because it's narrow. The mix happens better in a narrow space than in a ah is a better place for it. Ming a 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 ming ming a 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 ming. I also feel the sound is from here up. It's not kind of stuck in my throat or in my mouth. It feels like it's spinning up into my head. Ming a 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 ming ming a 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 ming I wish there was a more clear-cut way to um, describe it or demonstrate it or quantify it. I know that it's a little bit of an elusive concept. So I'm going to sing this in pure head voice. Ming a 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 ming. Now I'm going to sing it in mix. Ming a 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 ming. Now head voice. Ming a 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 ming. That's just where it sit. This this set of five notes sits in my voice. Ming a 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 ming. Okay. Hey, if Sounds Good Choir ever, ever ends, will you guys still meet with me on Friday? question is do we have the ability to control when we switch into head versus chest voice well yes and no S sometimes sometimes your voice will tell you where it wants to do the switching and sometimes it's hard to control but the more we practice and work on the mix and having the registers overlap the more choice we have about where it happens <laughs> I don't know if you feel this way when we warm up, but as we're warming up, I feel my voice sort of waking up. You know, every two or three minutes, I feel like it's, you know, sort of waking up from sleep. Can remember. 
keep your nostrils flared the whole time, like the whole rehearsal. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. So here's another kind of bizarre concept for you. All this stuff we talk about with our voices, it's all connected. So flaring the nostrils and getting this part of our head to open up is connected to tongue position, is connected to nasopharynx resonance, is connected to uh, head voice, chest voice mix. Like it's, it's like, imagine all these little strings sticking out and no matter which one you pull, it's connected to all the others. It's not really like they all function independently. Getting the chords to meet is connected to tongue position, is connected to nasopharynx being open. They all affect each other. It's infinitely complicated and it's all minuscule. It's, you know, if you ever saw what the size of your vocal cords are, they're like, they're like, you know, the size of your thumbnail. And, and these muscles that work in a twisting fashion and the vocal cords thickening and thinning, depending on what part of our, I mean, the whole thing is the most delicate, beautiful, complex thing you can possibly imagine. still a sixth below my break. When I was in college, originally I was a voice major and I was required to take a class called vocal pedagogy because it was assumed that I would either need to learn about how the voice works or I would need to teach it or both. And the professor that was assigned to it was in his last years, he was had tenure and he was sort of, I would say, checked out. He was he was phoning it in in a big way. And he was very low energy. And his method that by this point in his career was to have each of us just read a paragraph of the textbook. And he would just stand at the front of the class and he would say, okay, Mary, you read the first paragraph and she would read it. And then, okay, Johnny, you read the next paragraph for an hour. No instruction, no lecture, just reading the textbook. So after two or three classes of that, I thought to myself, this is terrible. We're not gonna really learn much this way. And this feels like something that I really wanna learn and understand. So I just happened one day, I just said, hey, anybody else in this class feel like we're not really getting good instruction and this is not going so well? And like everybody raised their hand. So I said, does anybody want to go with me to the dean to discuss this matter with the dean? So only one other person was willing to go and we went and met with the dean and just told him what was happening. And the next class period, we had a new professor. I don't even know what happened behind the scenes, but the next class period, we had one of the voice faculty who was this dynamic, energetic woman, very experienced and knowledgeable, and she taught pedagogy the rest of the semester, and we learned. I feel kind of bad about it in retrospect, because I did, you know, wasn't trying to ruin that guy's career, but oh my gosh, you know, we're paying how much per semester, hour, and I thought oh my, I want to like it's like I wanted to learn it like it seemed important and we were paying for it and oh my gosh. That story has nothing to do with anything. Okay, let's do this. Bup, bup, bup. It sort of has to do with what we're talking about, right? Bup, 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 bup. But still nowhere in my college study or high school study did anyone ever t say the word mix or tell me what that was. I had to wait till I was 48 years old to start learning about mix. After decades of singing wrong. 
It was literally like I had been digging with my hands my whole life, and then when I was 48, somebody said, well, there's this thing called a shovel, and you can use it to dig. in a crack for me. This will be a new one for some of you. It's the same sound, but we're gonna do long and short like this. But still NG, still with the mouth mostly closed. The difference is the, the first one where we're just doing a five note scale, the chords are staying together. With this one, they're coming apart and going back together. So we're exercising the muscles that, that pull them apart and put them back together. It's like that. chords don't meet, we do all kind of weird things to try to get them to meet. We don't even realize we're doing it. That's why we, I spend so much time on these exercises that are about the chords meeting because it leads to a host of other kind of vocal problems. <laughs> trick is to try to get that to happen without straining or or pushing or manipulating from the outside just let the muscles do the work on the inside 
Okay, one more exercise, and this has to do with head voice. Um, I can only demonstrate in a range where it works for me, but you might have to do it in a different range that works for you, but it's this exercise. Uh, and I'm staying in my head voice the whole time. We'll go down and then we'll go back up and hopefully you'll be able to find a part of the register where it works in your voice. slip out of head voice if you can. So you might have to drop out or jump back in depending on where the range is. funny note in the chat it says I knew I was late for rehearsal because at 10 o'clock my voice spontaneously broke into the vocal fry followed by a chord but let's go back up here where we started job you feeling warmed up a little bit warmed up or annoyed those are your two choices okay so uh paul you know that last exercise is wonderful because if you're trying very hard to keep you the head voice you're really discovering where that mix is occurring you, i could not have said it better myself that was the most perfect explanation you really have to fight to keep it up there and not go into the, the mix area. Hey, Joy, can you re can you repeat that explanation again? Thank you. Yeah, uh, while I was doing it, I found that I had a fight at a certain point to keep my head voice in my head voice. And, uh, and then I knew exactly where that I had found where my mix area was, where I was going down to my chest voice. It's a wonderful way. And so you're really in control. You're in control of your muscles then when you can discover that. So another way of, of sort of saying the same thing is any note that you can sing in head voice, you can sing in mix. Uh, below a certain point. Now, at the top of our range, we've all got notes that we can only sing in head voice. But the exercise that we're doing by singing the head voice down low, those become notes that could potentially be mixed in the future. The other part of this equation is that for most of us, our head voice is underdeveloped. So singing in head voice feels strange at first, but over time, by doing it all the time, the muscles get strengthened. And so singing in head voice becomes a very natural thing. And that, in turn, informs the mix. So the stronger and healthier and the more flexible and, and rangy the head voice is directly relates to what is possible in the mix. Does that make sense? You cannot have a mix without a, without a 
an active, lively head voice. The two are inseparable. So those of you that are used to singing in your head voice probably will have an easier time discovering and developing. Thank you. You, you, you've already been doing it a long time. But a lot of us sing mostly in our chest voice, and so the whole head voice and mix thing is kind of foreign. All righty, so I'm sort of finding out that Michael Rowe, The Boat Ashore is a kind of a tough one. So let's jump in on that one, please. And I'm, I did something that I hope will be helpful. I programmed the vocal parts on a click track that I can isolate and slow down and so forth. Let me do this. Hmm. I need to make this window smaller. Hang on just one second. Because it's tricky, the parts are tricky and it's hard for me to play them all at the same time. Let me do this and change the tempo. Let me see where I'm at. Let's work on the alto first, please. I'm starting at right where you first sing, altos, measure, measure five. Just go on do, do, do for a second, no, no lyrics, because the part of what's challenging is that the syllables fall in kind of strange places. So just altos on do, 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 and we'll add the parts one at a time. Measure five, here we go. One, two, fast altos does it feel like it needs to go slower yet or is it okay i'm gonna go a little bit slower thanks for your patience i feel like if we if we kind of go go through this slowly we'll be yeah. question here we go altos Altos. You're getting it. I know we're going slow, but I find sometimes when I go too fast that uh, it's too fast. The second page, I kind of get a little lost for some reason in a couple of places. I don't know why. Well, it's, it's like the pattern keeps changing. It's it's the same for two measures, and then it's and then it changes. So it's I think it's hard. One more time, altos. I'll go I'll go five ticks faster. We'll do the words and the notes, altos. Here we go. And we'll add another part.
because the slow tempo is making the breathing happen in strange places. Let's try the tenors and altos together. Here's the tenor note. Here's the alto note. Thank you for being patient, the other parts that are waiting. doing any particular measures tenors or altos that we you want to hit separately slowly or isolated or can we add a part thanks for making those you bet um, the uh, the place that i'm having trouble with the synchronizing the words with the notes is at the top of page three just before measure nine it's that measure eight yeah, this one. Row the boat. It, the, the syllable alignment with the notes almost has a random feel to it. It feels oh. like it, the pattern never establishes. So let's go, let's go altos from seven. So that's at the very top of three, the first measure. Altos, two, three, and Michael row, row, row. Sure, Michael Row. One more time. Two, three, top of three. Michael Row, 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 the boat ashore. Does that help a little bit to slow it down like that? Okay, basses, let's hear you, please. Thank you for being so patient. I feel that the basses can go faster. So I'm going to make it faster basis. you're fine right don't need anything again let's do the bottom three parts hey there's a musical term for that when the bass note stays the same forever 
and the part the harmony above it changes but the bass stays the same what's the musical term for that flooring bet you dave perlman knows the answer ostinato could it be something like that an ostinato is a bass pattern that repeats ah, okay. but when the bass pitch actually stays the same it's called a pedal tone so like this is staying the same it's all throughout classical music and jazz and so the basses in this case have a pedal tone they're, they've got crazy rhythms but their pitch never changes and the harmony above them is changing all the time okay so i know sopranos are sitting out but their part is a little bit easier in this section let's try the bottom three parts here's bass tenor alto Anybody feel like they get lost if I'm not singing along and it's just the piano and the click do you feel like you get lost and would it be helpful if I were to sing along with one of the parts at some point we have to put them together but I realize it's it's difficult to maintain independence so this time I'll sing with the altos for me to be singing it in my gruff morning voice down an octave you found that helpful did you <laughs> this time i'll sing with the tenors yes with the bases. a funny a funny video online the other day of a guy who arrives at his boarding gate at the airport and his ticket says boarding group one and then the guy says okay uh our elite platinum members please board and then our uh, gold plus star alliance members please board and then all uniformed military please board and then any clergy please board and then any families with small babies please board and then any military with small babies and then any clergy with small military babies 
and the whole time he's just getting more and more frustrated and literally everybody boards the plane before him and he's got boarding group one. So in this case, the Sopranos are boarding group one. Here we go, Sopranos. You've been so patient. Let's work on yours. Now to me, the second half of this doesn't go where I expect it based on what I know of this folk song, but we're gonna work on there. Here we go, Sopranos, one. Two, oh, one, two. Michael rode the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael rode the boat ashore. Hallelujah. 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 Sopranos. I'm using my head voice to make it easier on myself. Three Sopranos, oh, one, two. Michael rode the boat ashore. Alleluia. Michael rode the boat ashore. Alleluia. Sopranos kind of lives up there in head voice land, isn't it? Okay, from the beginning with all those parts, you guys are being so patient. I don't know another way to rehearse a song like this. If I go too fast, people don't get the notes. If I don't spend enough time with each part, they don't actually get it. And then I add the other part and the altos are like, we don't know our, our part yet. So it's a little bit of a tedious process for those of you that are sitting out. I apologize. Here's your five, a one, two. Have your notes, bass, tenor, alto. Oops, here's the cue again. Yes, we can. By the way, a while, while back, um, Anne sent me sent a note that said about most people not singing in head voice would sopranos and some tenors be excluded. So in my experience, a lot of sopranos sing in their head voice all the time, like they're used to that musculature and that register and they do it naturally without even thinking about it. 
also in my experience, most tenors sing primarily in their chest voice and they don't, they don't have any clue about head voice or mix. And so they just keep pushing their chest voice higher and higher. And that works when they're young and they can kind of yell those notes out. And then as they get older and their voice fatigues, whatever, they are unable to do that anymore. And then they have to wrestle with either stopping singing or learning how to sing those notes properly, which is what happened to me. So when I was young, I just pushed my chest voice up as high as it would go. And sometimes it, sometimes it flipped into mix accidentally just because it was, you know, not allowing me to do that. But I just kind of yelled my way through my 20s and 30s. And then my voice kind of wore out and I had to go get some help. And that's when I started realizing the value of head voice and, uh, and mix. That's just my own assessment. I, you know, I can't defend that in a court of law. Let's do um, that. Yeah. Paul, may I ask a question? Are we on page nine of Michael Rowe? I just came in. No, we are we are working uh, from the beginning th right now through um, bottom of six. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, so let's now start. So let me ask this: uh, How are we doing one through sixteen? I saw a note from Teal about measure fourteen, which is you mean a sure hallelujah. Is that what you meant, Teal, that measure? So tenors, let's go from the edge of four. First measure of four. Two, three. Michael Rome, a sure Halle. Once again. Michael Rome, a sure Halle. It's funny, when I first started looking at this piece, I thought, oh, man, there is like some complexity for each part, like every second bar, like it's, it's not really an easy thing. Okay, let's continue from uh, 18 with the basses and the tenors, because they have similar parts. Basses and tenors will go together at the bottom of four measure 18. Here's bass, here's tenor. One, two, Ready, go. Now let's do them separately. Basses, two, three, Basis, hallelujah, 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 river is deep and wide. Hallelujah. Once again, basses, let's go from the part where it starts getting harder. So, for example, basses, let's start at 22, please. Top of five, last measure, basses, two, three, four. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Deep and wide, hallelujah. You getting that basis? It's a cool part, kind of jumps around. Uh, tenors, let's go at 22, and then we'll put tenors and basses together. Christine, I'm seeing your note here. We'll go back and do 16 for sopranos in a second. Tenors, 22, 2, 3, 4. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Once again, tenors, two, twenty-two, and hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
tenders and bases together at 22. Wish I had some kind of a fancy page turning device. I'm saving up my shekels for the, the latest and greatest iPad Pro, which has a much bigger screen. I've, I've got a, an app that runs sheet music on a regular iPad. It's called Fourscore. You can load a million songs on there in PDF form and just swipe to turn the pages. So it's, I've got thousands of songs on there, but it's smaller than eight and a half by 11. And my eyes for that don't work for me anymore. But iPad Pro is bigger than eight and a half by 11. And I could put all this sheet music and every organization that I'm working with, I could put thousands of songs on there and I can turn the pages with a foot pedal. So like when I'm at the piano, I don't have to take either hand off, but then I got to figure out how to teach my left foot to turn the page while I'm using my right foot for the pedal while my two hands are playing the piano. That should be no problem, right? Just hire a page turner. Uh, okay, basses and tenors at 22. Here's bass, here's tenor. One, two, three, four. Sopranos, are you feeling somewhat left out and neglected this, this rehearsal? Hey, Sopranos at 16. That's a request from Christine. Yeah, hallelujah. Let's do that, that at 16. Sopranos, two, three. Yeah, hallelujah. Once again, two, three, and. Yeah, hallelujah. And then the rest of those that follow are the same except without without the initial ya. Okay. Um, altos, let me hear you back at 18, please. Tenors and basses sing with us, but we're gonna focus on the alto. Here's the bass, here's the tenor, here's the alto. At 18, two, three, four. Back at 18, here's bass, here's tenor, here's alto. Two, three, four. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jordan's river is deep and wide. Hallelujah, Jordan's river. It's hard for me to play all those at once. But now what we can do is start at 16. Actually, I'll start a measure before 16. So here's, here's 15, bass, tenor, alto, soprano. We're, at, we're on the Lou part of hallelujah, one measure before 16. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Here it comes, one, two,
let's go back and I'll sing with uh, each part individually. So Judy is correct. The soprano part changes at 24. So most of them go, Alleluia, and then again, Alleluia, two more times like that. But then the one at 24 goes, Alle, Alleluia. It starts different. You probably noticed that already. Okay, let's go back to 15, please. I will sing with a part in case that helps. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. And I'm going to sing with the basses one time. One, two, three, four. you're probably getting it right you guys need to know we have a pretty cracker jack bass department here we go uh same place bass tenor alto soprano and i'm gonna sing with the tenors one two three four <laughs> sing with the altos. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Uh, one, two, three, four. sopranos here's bass here's tenor here's alto here's soprano this is at 15. One, two, three, four. let me sorry somebody's unmuted let me mute here real quick here we go for the fun of it by the way if i was somebody who smoked cigarettes i think that i would probably want one about now <laughs> uh, let's go back to the beginning and see how we do that far uh, beth is saying can i play the soprano measure 24 through 29 yes i can so 24 is the one that's different beth three four one Two, three, top of six. Two, three.
So that top of six is a little bit unexpected. It's beautiful. Pretty. Erlene, Erlene Retz. You made it hard on us. Okay, here we go. This is back at five. Here's the bass. Here's the tenor. Here's the alto. We could start a club where we write, where we write let sort of um, spoof, prank letters to composers. Suddenly one day they go to the mailbox and there's there's 32 letters from members of Sounds Good Choir. Erlene just wanted to discuss the opening pages of Michael Rowe, the Brother Shore. What were you thinking? Were you just trying to make it hard, Erlene? Got to use her name a lot. Got to say Erlene in every sentence. Listen, Erlene. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Let's go back to uh, the beginning and use voices. <laughs> oh man. Let me see where I am here, real quick. So I don't have a way of slowing this down easily, so I have to do this at performance tempo. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The voices are in now. I'll give you two measures, and then we're we're at measure five, but with the voices this time. And I'm gonna cut the piano out so we hear just the voices. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. helping is this helping you hear the voice it's kind of a it's kind of a mess like it's hard to find if you're not somebody that can just automatically find your note i think it's hard to find your note uh let's try this one more time and then we'll move on I, we're, we're gonna have to kind of keep attacking this song on a weekly basis i think here's two measures one two ready go spend a lot of time on this song today it just feels like it warrants it if we if i keep not spending time on it we'll never get it learned okay please jump over to ukrainian river song 
Paul, can I just ask one favor when we do the song next week? No. On the top of page nine, it is too fast for me. And, you know, I read music. Yeah. And um, it doesn't help me to keep listening to the tape. So if you would just be willing to play it on the piano next week, that would help me a lot. Great. So are you aware that on the YouTube rehearsal tracks, you can slow them down? Uh, no, but tell me. Well, you don't have to tell me. You can write it or something. I don't want to take up time. Let's do it. Let's let me um, share my screen because this might benefit other people too. I mean, it's impossible. The top of page nine is like, help. Uh, can everybody see my screen? Why is it? Yeah. Not, yeah. Why is it not letting me add a tab? And I'm going to go to Sounds Good Choir. Okay. And it's this, it's this one right here that has the logo, just so you okay. know. And then, and then I'm clicking on videos. videos. Actually, okay. actually, I'm gonna go back to home because it looks like she's got the spring practice tracks all on a page. Right. So now I'm gonna click on spring 2023 20, practice tracks. Then I'm gonna hit videos because I'll be able to see all of them. Okay, then um, videos. And then I'm going to go to, um, well, I guess I could search probably. Is there a search window? Oh, here's a search. Go to playlist. If I search uh, Michael Rowe. I've never used that before and it comes up. Wow. And okay. here's, here's all the Michael Rowe, the book. Uh -huh. And here's Alto. Uh -huh. Let me have it fill the screen. And then uh, there's a little gear button somewhere. Where's the little gear button? Hmm. Anybody know where it is that I'm not seeing it? No. I have to go full screen to see it. I think you might need to hit it play first. Michael, row the boat ashore. Okay, so when I hit play. Alto one, louder. There's the gear. Where? Oh, I see it. Okay. See this little gear button right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I click on that, the playback yeah. speed is set at normal. Mm -hmm. But you can make it slower. Oh. What could I set it at? Okay, because I'm telling you, this is not in my ear, or yeah. let alone yeah. my voice. I understand. So here's half the speed. Okay. Let me jump ahead. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I realize it sounds a little funny, but it is slower. Yeah, well, what if you hit the soprano part? Can I hear how that sounds? It's going to sound the same. Let me show I you. I know, but not really, because it's supposed to be the soprano feature part. Yeah. Here. Michael, row the boat ashore. Okay. So if I if I were okay. I, I would use those I would use those practice tracks at half speed. For any any section that's difficult, I would think the the YouTube videos would be more useful than the MP3s because you can change the tempo. That's great. Um, thanks for telling me that. And I really like the piano, so hopefully I'll learn it from the piano. Um, Whatever method works for you, but that's just available. Yeah. It's just an available tool for anybody that wants it. Is anybody already using it that way? With the, like when, when it's a fast song, slowing it down. I know it has a, it, it, you know, a, a strange sound to it, but anyway. Okay. Ukrainian river song. Thanks for hanging in there with uh, a rehearsal that's a little bit tedious in nature or a lot tedious in nature. Ukrainian River Song. Oh, I need, um, I need a piano sound. Where'd my piano go? 
Darn it, I lost my piano. Let's see if I can just get it back this way without having to restart my computer. Because if I have to restart, everybody will have to log back on. Let's see if this works. Oh, I see. Whew. Saved. Here we go. Measure seven. No Ukrainian language for the moment. Just do la 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 or do do do, and we'll get the notes locked in, and then we'll go back and add the add the Ukrainian. This is measure seven: bass, tenor, alto, soprano. I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. separately basses a one two ready go la 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 that repeats la 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 Tenors, let's hear you, please. One, two, three, four, five. La, 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 that repeats. La, 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 Basses and tenors together. Here's bass, here's tenor. One, two, three, four, five. Let me hear you, please. Two, three, four, five. La 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 la. Same thing again. La 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 la. Bottom three parts: bass. Tenor, alto. When I'm saying that repeats, what I mean is that happens again at measure 11. It's the same four measure pattern that repeats starting at 11. Here's uh, bass, tenor, alto. One, two, three, four, five. parts together bass tenor alto soprano one two three four five Kind of easy. 
easy, right? Let's put the Ukrainian language with it. It's spelled out in a really beautiful phonetic way. Techevoda. So that the trick with some of these foreign languages is to not add diphthongs where they aren't. A lot of our vowels in English have a diphthong sound to them, or we add one. Te che. It's not te che or te che. It's just te che. Te che voda. Okay, we go. Two, three, four, five. Te che voda. Te che voda. Zda le koho. Zda le koho. So the le is not le. Zda le koho. Kra you. Zda le koho. Kra you. Let's try just the first four measures, starting at seven. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Te che voda. Te che voda. Zda le koho. Kra you. So the zda, we don't spend a lot of time on the z sound. It happens very quickly. One more time. First four measures. One, two, three, four, five. Te che voda, te che voda, zda le koho kra you. Not too hard, actually, right? Top of the next page, page four. Te che voda, te che voda, and then this third measure is different. A ku dine, dine, what time is dine? Uh, it's just funny to see see people look up and laugh like, okay, they're still with me, still alive. Um, I was thinking about maybe getting some glasses that have the eyeballs on the outside. And then my eyeballs can do whatever they want on the inside, right? So it'll, it'll look like I'm awake. Let's do the second half starting at 11. One, two, three, four, five. Te che voda, te che voda, a ku dinez na ye. So the last sound we make is ye with no diphthong, no change of vowel. Zna ye. Okay, let's try all eight measures, just speaking it, and then we'll put it back with the notes. Measure seven, I'll count to five. One, two, Three, four, five. Te che voda, te che voda, zda le koho kra you. Te che voda, te che voda, a ku dines na ye. Not as hard as it could have been. Let's put the notes with it, shall we? And so forth. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I think this is less difficult than Michael Rowe, The Boat Ashore. The Ukrainian river song in 5-4 time is less difficult than another piece. 
Isn't that interesting? Okay, now we're at 15. And it's just oi da na da na da na da na da na da na oi da na da na da na da na da na da na. Let's try the basses and tenors together. Here's bass, here's tenor, and I'll sing the bass. One, two, fifteen, go. Oi da na da na da na da na da na da na. Oi da na da na da na da na da na da na. Oi da na da na da na da na da na da na. Oi da na da na da na da na da na da na. I just think that's the coolest sound. I love it. Basses and tenors again. Bass, tenor. One. To measure fifteen and boy donna 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 Altus, let me hear you, please. One, two, three, four. Oh, foy. I said foy. Here we go, altos. Two, three, go. Oi, donna, 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 donna. I suspect that most of the altos will be singing that B in your mix. That's prime mix territory for altos. One, two, ready, go. Oi, donna, 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 donna. 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 Listen to that last little part, altos. Kind of cool, right? Bottom three parts. Thanks for waiting, sopranos. This is 15, bass, tenor, alto. Two, ready, go. Be fine, right? After Michael Rowe that boat ashore, this is like a uh, walk in the park. So at 23, the sopranos come in. One, two, bottom of five. Oi, donna, 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 donna. Oi, donna, 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 donna. One more time, sopranos. To bottom of five. Oi, donna, 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 donna. Oi, donna, 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 donna. Back to 15. Sopranos come in at 23. One, two, 15, go. Go from the beginning. Here's seven. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Te che voda. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Te che voda. Te che voda. Zdale koho kraju. And te che.
there's a note here. Uh, let me hit the stop record button.